Welcome to Electron Line. Now we're going to concentrate on the converging mirror. What we're going to do first is we're going to place the object at the center of curvature, which is twice the distance from the lens to the focal point. We have a focal length of 20 centimeters, therefore the radius of curvature is 40 centimeters. And then we're going to move the object farther and farther away. The first time we're going to move it to twice the distance that it was before. So it would be four times the focal length or twice the radius of curvature. And then eventually we're going to move the object all the way very far away towards infinity and then see what happens to the location of the image. The first one we're going to draw here is when we take the object and place it at the center of curvature. We draw a line straight to the mirror parallel to the optical axis. It reflects off the mirror, goes through the focal point, continues on this way. The second ray that you draw is from the object to the focal point to the mirror. When it hits the mirror, it's going to reflect. And then the reflected ray is going to go parallel to the optical axis. And then where the two points meet, that's where the image will appear. And you can then see that the image will appear at the exact same place as the object is, except in this case it will be inverted. It is a real image because it's in front of the mirror. Now mathematically, we're going to use this equation to solve for the image distance. S prime is going to be equal to S, which is in this case 40 centimeters, times the focal length of 20 centimeters, divided by 40 minus 20, which is equal to 800, divided by 20, which is a positive 40 centimeters, Positive means that it's in front of the lens and it's a real image. The magnification is equal to minus S prime over S. S prime being 40 centimeters, so we put minus 40 divided by 40, which is minus 1. Minus means that it is inverted, as you can see, so the image is an inverted image, but it's a real image and it's the same size, just inverted, as the original object. So what happens when we move the object farther away? Now we're going to move it twice as far away. The, <coughs> excuse me, the object distance is 80 centimeters. Let's find out where the new image appears. Well, first, we'll do it graphically. We draw the line parallel to the optical axis. It hits the mirror and it reflects back to the focal point. The second ray is going to be drawn through the focal point. And then we continue on until it hits the mirror, then it reflects back parallel to the optical axis. Where the two lines meet, the two rays meet right here, that's where the image will appear. Now notice the image moved closer to the mirror, actually moved closer to the focal point. So let's do it mathematically. Here we have S prime equals SF over S minus F. So in this case, S is now 80 centimeters, that's the distance to the object times the focal length is still 20, divided by 80 minus 20, which is equal to 1600 divided by 60. That cancels out, that would be 80 divided by 3, which is equal to 26.7 centimeters. You can see now that it's not quite at the focal point because that's 20 centimeters, it's about 26.7 centimeters, S prime, 26.7 centimeters. Notice since it's positive, we expect it to be real, and that's since it's in front of the mirror, it's a real image. So there's our image. And if we want to see the magnification, the magnification is equal to minus S prime over S, which is minus 26.7 divided by S is 80, and that's about minus one-third. So you can see now that the image is moving closer to the focal point. It's now only one-third the size of the original object. Negative means that it is inverted, it is upside down. All right, now imagine that we move the object all the way out to a distance of a thousand centimeters. Now I can't really put it that far away because I'd be off the board, but imagine it's really far away. But you get the idea. We draw the first line parallel to the optical axis till we hit the mirror, then it reflects back through the focal point, which is right here. Then we draw the second line through the focal point like this, and then it bounces back, it's reflected parallel to the optical axis. Where the two rays meet, that is now going to be the image. Now you see that the image is very, very close to the focal point. 
still upside down, but you can see as you move the object farther away, it looks like the image gets closer and closer and closer to the focal point, but doesn't get any closer to the mirror than the focal point. So we can imagine in the limit, as the object goes all the way to infinity, the image will then move to the focal point. So let's find out what we have here with the equation S prime equals SF over S minus F. So now we're going to put in a thousand centimeters for the object distance. A thousand times 20 divided by a thousand minus 20, which is 20,000 divided by 980. Grab a calculator, see what that would be equal to. And it's 20.4 centimeters. So not quite at the focal point, but very, very close. The magnification, minus S prime over S, which is minus 20.4 divided by 1,000. And that would be roughly, look like 1 50th, and would be minus 1 over 50. And you can see that the image size is now only 1 50th the object size. So it's very, very tiny, really close to the focal point in the limit. As the object goes to infinity, the image size goes to zero and it moves closer and closer to the focal point where it's almost at the focal point as you go further and further closer to infinity. And that's how we see what happens to the object in the image as you start with the object at the center of curvature and move it farther and farther and farther away. The image starts at the, the center of curvature and then moves closer and closer and closer to the focal point as the object moves farther away. And that's how we know how to deal with converging mirrors.